Do I come out? Yeah, I do. Let's start it. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm Paulina. So recently I tried Chloe Ting's 28 day flat tummy challenge. That's very wordy. Um, I was going to try Chloe Ting's two week ab challenge, but then I felt like for me, I want to try something that was a bit more longer just so I could see a huger result. And so the, for the two week stretch challenge, that was only two weeks. And then well, obviously. And the 28 day was basically a month. So I feel like I would probably see more difference if I did the 28 day flat tummy challenge. There were days where I was like, oh my God, why am I doing this? But honestly, it was fun. Like, I feel like as the days went on, as the weeks went on, I feel like I've got stronger because she incorporated abs and a little bit of arms. Like honestly, you kind of work your whole body, but mainly your abs. So I want to show you guys like the schedule, you know? So basically like here, I'm showing you guys like the schedule. Every day you have a certain amount of videos that you have to do. For instance, for day one, it's only two videos and then so forth. You guys are seeing right here. And yeah, I mean, in the beginning, she kind of goes easy on you. You don't do that many videos until like probably like day 10, maybe you start doing more or I forget when, but um, you start getting more videos. So you, so you start getting three to four videos. And honestly, it's not that bad. It does get more intense, but you could, I feel like if you start from the beginning, you could handle it. But yeah, um, I'm gonna show you guys how the days went on i'm gonna be showing you guys how i look right now so basically this is my stomach right now this is the front view the side view i'm also gonna be measuring myself so i could see um if i lose any inches i guess because i feel like if i might look the same but i could lose an inch on my stomach maybe hopefully so i'm gonna measure myself where my belly is i am Currently 33.5 on my belly button. And then I am 31 on my waist. So I'm gonna be doing day one today and yeah, I'll keep you guys updated throughout the whole 28 days. Um I don't think I'll record like every day because I feel like the video will be like five hours long, but I'm going to do some recording for some days and then at the end of the video, I'll be showing you guys if I lost any inches or if I see any difference in my stomach. So for day one, it was pretty tiring. I had to take a lot of breaks, but as the days went on, it got better. Now that was day five. Day five, I feel like I was still struggling a lot, honestly. Like, I don't think it got better then. <laughs> For day 10, I did feel a little bit stronger. I would do like five workouts in a row and then probably like in the sixth one. I had to take like a small little break, but I was still able to do it and I got better at it. So good job for me. Now for day 16, I did feel way better. I feel like I was able to do it. I didn't take as much breaks. I feel like I was able to handle it, which I loved. That was progress for me, but I did feel stronger on day 16. So I feel like even though in my head I was like, you know what, even if I'm not losing any inches on my stomach, I'm probably getting stronger, so. Now you guys just saw day 28, okay. I know I already have like a lot of days working now, like doing her videos and you would think like, okay, you got like, the hang of it. And I did get the hang of it, but day 20 was a load. Like it was 50 minutes nonstop. It was like a 49 minute video. And then it was a 10 minute ab workout. But the, the 
50 minute one oh my god it killed me i feel like it was so tiring you did your you worked on your legs your abs your arms your everything it was so tiring i did have to take some breaks honestly because i think she gave like five second ten second breaks in between some workouts but it was tiring so tiring but i got through it so that's a good i am done with the 28 days and this is how my stomach looks right now i mean there's not much the difference i see maybe is like it's like more dipped in kind of but let me measure myself and see if i like lost any like inches or centimeters on my waist on my stomach um i think before i was 31 inches on my waist so Let's see. Let me go back. Let's see what it is now. Those thirty-one. Now I'm like a thirty point five almost. Let me just see. I'm basically like so. I basically lost like maybe like point five on my waist or my belly button is. I basically lost. Hmm, I think before I was a thirty-three. Now I am like 31.75 almost. Yeah, like 31. So I basically lost 0.5 on my waist and then I lost like a whole inch on my stomach. It's not like a huge drastic change, but I feel like these workouts did help me. I did have results, but they weren't like that drastic. Yeah, at the end, I feel like I did lose some inches on my waist, which I'm very proud of. Yeah, I was tiring, obviously, but I feel like it's a fun challenge to try. You do see a difference, well, at least for me. I didn't eat the... I mean, I try eating healthy, but that's very difficult, especially that I'm just home. I feel like I just want to eat, like, chips or, like, you know, like, bad, like, junk food. I tried to restrain myself from those foods, but it was very difficult. I think I'm continue doing like her challenges and they're fun and I feel like they're good workouts to do at home especially now that because like we're all just home and the gyms are closed too so I think the next one I'm gonna try is the ab and booty workout yeah I think that's what it's called and I'm excited to try that one because you know what like everyone wants a butt <laughs> but yeah I'm gonna get to that and I say do the challenge it's fun and I feel like you guys will get results at least like maybe not drastic results but you could get results and i feel like if you eat good too i feel like you'll get more results than what i did because i did not eat the best the challenge was super fun honestly throughout the challenge i didn't even measure myself i was like you know what i don't care i'm gonna wait until the end and see if there's like a result because i feel like measuring myself every day or every week would just stress me out thinking like because I know if I wouldn't see any difference on my waist, I would just want to give up. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to wait until the end. And I did that. And well, you guys saw I got some progress. I know this is off topic, but I started working now. Like my workout journey like a long time ago. Not a long time ago. Like a few months ago. Probably like in November. Yeah, November. But I didn't take it seriously until January, until like the new year, you know, new year, new me. But recently, not recently, like probably like a month or two, I started working on my arms more. Because before I was like, why am I going to do arm day? Like for arm days, I'll barely do anything. But then I started to work on my arms more. And I have like a little bit of muscle. Can you guys see it? Honestly, I'm so happy I started working out. It's been life-changing to be each. This video was fun to record. I did something that I like doing, which is working now, and I recorded something for my YouTube channel. <laughs> but hopefully you guys liked the video. That's basically it, and if you'd like to see more videos of me, then you should subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.